So times, you're gonna use a times loop. And you've used loops before, like three times, two times, one time, all right? So let me show you how that's gonna work because you may not, may or may not have experienced using a times loop with our text-based coding. So first, you can see we have four eggs and we can see a pattern, right? We're gonna do something four times to get all of these eggs. They're showing us the distances and they show us on more than one so we can be sure that it's all equal. So this egg will be the same as that, that will be the same as that. So to create loops in our text-based coding, because I'm starting with a loop, I'm gonna click times. Now they automatically put three, but we know we're gonna want four. And here's a pro tip. If you wanna test your code, you can make it say one, because if it works one time, then you just increase it to the number you want and you've got four times and you're good to go. But we'll start with four. Now, we need the dodo to step to that egg which is 14 minus six. And because I am showing you, I'm not gonna make you guess. Now, there's something really important here about formatting loops. See how it has those dots? CodeMonkey will help you a lot with the formatting, as long as you let it. So what you wanna do after you click the four times, use your return key to go to the next line it will automatically indent, which is what it needs to do. In order for the code to be inside of your loop, it has to be indented. And it has to be indented those number of lines. If I'm off a of space, it won't work. Now, if you ever find your cursor is at the line and you need it indented, your tab key, which is um, above your caps lock or near the queue, will get you the right number of dots, but also those dots show you you're in the right place. So I'm gonna do my step 14, right? We're gonna to need to pick up the egg. And then we need the bird to come back. So we're not gonna use a, a turn to or a turn. We're gonna want the dodo to walk backwards, which if you haven't learned yet is using minus. So I'm gonna say step minus 14. So step 14 is forward, step minus 14 is backward. If I do that, the dodo goes up, gets the egg, comes back. Now we're not yet ready to pick up, to end our loop here, because we need the bird to turn either to the left or the right, in order to be ready then to repeat, because then they'll step 14, go back 14, you get it. So you can put turn left or turn right, it's totally up to you, as long as it's only one of them, because then the bird will go get that one, then that one, then that one, then that one, or go in the reverse order. So two important things you're gonna need for this one. One, which is these loops, which is new for most of you, if you're doing this right after Beaver Achiever. Um, the second thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need some backwards walking, which might be new for you as well. So let's see how that works. Up. Uh, hold on. I don't know what I was thinking. Hopefully you noticed that I was putting 14 and not eight. Um, that's because I'm trying to talk and code and think. Um, but that's the only thing that changes. Which again is another great reason for do it one time and you'll know. But let's see now. We got the happy sound. So now you know how to put a loop and walk backwards. <laughs> 